Hey you guys, I've got four gallons of plum wine to bottle today, so join me while I show you every step of the way um, and hopefully you'll pick up lots of hints and tips. So let's check it out. So the first stage in bottling is sterilising all your equipment and I've got a lot to do. So over here we've got a, a clean demijohn and I've got a sterilizing tablet in, it's filled to the top with water. I'm using around six bottles for every gallon of wine and I'm going to put water in each of the bottles to the very top and put half a sterilizing tablet in each and I'm going to take off all the bottle caps and put them in the sink along with the funnel and the siphoning tube and the sterilizing tablets I use are these, they're from Asda and they're 75p for a box so uh, pretty cheap, but you can use other other tablets like Cam Camden tablets is the, the more recognized name So join me while I sterilize all the bottles I've rinsed out all the bottles once and then I've filled them up again with water right to the very top and I'm going to put half a tablet, a sterilizing tablet, into each one. And um, when that's done, it just needs to take 15 minutes to sterilize, and we'll go on to the next phase. Next step is to rack this demijohn into a clean one down here. And what that does is uh, takes it off the final layer of sediment and makes sure you've got some nice clean wine for okay, bottling. So I've got the tube firmly in the bottle at the top, and then further down here, um, you just suck on the end of the tube to start the liquid going in and wait for it to completely empty. There it is. And as the liquid gets further down here, you can see you just need to push the tube in a bit further. You can see where it is um, and you just push it further and further down and when you get to the very bottom of it you just need to tip the demijohn slightly so you can get all of the liquid out. Okay, so I've siphoned the wine into another demijohn, taken it off its sediment, which you can see down there, and we're ready to start bottling. And I'll rinse out the one on the right and fill it with the water and start sterilizing it so it's ready to siphon off the next one. Right, we're ready to start bottling our first six bottles from our first demijohn. So I've laid them all out on the floor, six there, got the tube right in the bottom there of the demijohn, and you just suck on the other end here and start filling the bottles. And now I'll fill all these up and um, just keep going on the next ones. That went well, so I finished filling all the bottles and I've put the caps back on and wiped down the sides of the bottles so they're nice and dry and we've got a little bit left over for tasting, so I'll do that in a second but there's a really good tip here and um, if I go back to my original recipe card um, I've put a number 10 on it and I've also written on the bottle uh, the number there on the top right of that label so it's a really good way of, sort of identifying in a year or two you know, which wines were good that you're tasting and how they did and, and what they are really. So uh, let's give this a try. Oh, oh it tastes good. Uh, very strong, very punchy already. Um, but it, you know, is about four or five months old now. I recommend the minimum age you, you would want to drink a wine at is about six months because very suddenly from the fifth to the sixth month, the flavor changes immensely. Um, but it's often good to wait a year, so taste it as you go along and see what you think. So I've got three more gallons to bottle, but I hope you've got a gist of the process so far, and thank you for watching. If you want to check out any other winemaking videos I've done, have a look at my channel, and also my, my gardens on there, and the plum tree that I got all these plums from, so check it out. And there we go, I've got uh, 25 bottles in the end, and it um, took quite a while, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Look forward to drinking all that over the coming months and years.